Hey everybody, happy Valentine's Day. I was gonna write you a poem, but I couldn't get it flowing. So unless you object, let's change the subject. I promise you that is the first and last time I will try and make a rhyme. Although it seems to be continuing. Right, it's been a busy week here. Not made a huge amount of video footage. It is Sunday afternoon. I can edit this, upload it this evening. I'm out on a country bike for a proper old school. As I refer to it, cross country pedal. You can see that I'm not really on trails, just an old rights away, bridal ways, that sort of thing. The weather has been disgusting. You could absolutely do this sort of ride. On a gravel bike, just think the cross country bike probably makes it more comfortable. I ride that of a gravel bike. I mean, you can be really, really careful. Probably do it on a cross bike or, a, or even a road bike. Do it on an e-bike. The sort of rides I do, generally, you can pretty much do it on any bike. Just offers you something different, the type of bike that you choose to take on the ride. All the fun stuff's not a million miles away from these trails. Challenging climbs, that sort of thing. But it's just a nice sheltered route. You can completely shut off, relax and get pedaling. So around 10 months ago, when I started making these videos, uploading to the channel, the whole idea was that it would be like a resource for people to go to for a little bit of expertise and knowledge, race reports, maybe a documentation of my journey back into competition. I certainly never intended it to become a vloggy a diary type of channel. However, it's probably exactly what today's video is going to be because there's not a lot else going on at the moment. I've not been riding the road bike as much as I used to. Just open the gate here a sec. Oh. Quite enjoy it when I nearly managed to take myself out. I'd like to point out I have absolutely nothing against people that do make vlog style videos. It's just that I think my life probably isn't all that exciting. It's relatively normal. I ride a bike a bit. I lead a fairly normal family life. I like spending time with them. I don't like showing that off the camera too much. In my spare time, there's not a huge amount. I spend it with them, go to the coast, walk the dogs, that sort of thing. All fairly standard stuff if you have a young family. However, at the moment with the whole virus, we're not racing, we're not meeting up as a team. And life is probably quite different to what I expected it would have been 12 months ago. The 2020 season didn't happen. And that does change things a little bit. Uh, in recent weeks, I've been a lot busier than I had been previously. That's because I've started a new job, which I quite like to invite you along the journey with. So on a Monday and a Wednesday evening, if you're into riding an indoor turbo trainer, if you have a Zwift account, or if you'd like to join up with us on YouTube, there is a link in the description to this, exactly how you can do that. Can't catch COVID if you don't touch the gate. So way back last year, when I started the channel, I'd never intended it to become a vloggy type place. I wanted race reports, maybe a bit of a documentation of my return to competition. I wanted to have a resource where people could come and find knowledge and expertise and help improve their riding because I've ridden the bike for a long time and I do genuinely feel like I probably have more to offer than your average 30 year old bike rider. Coupled with a little bit of experience of what I've done before. Let's give the rain. Absolutely appalling weather. Also, because the video's inspired just one person to get out on their bike and ride, I would deem the video as a success. And every now and again, I was able to record really beautiful footage out in the Cotswolds, out in Cornwall, depending on where I was at the time. And people would say that they felt like going for a ride after watching the videos. Therefore, it was a massive success. You probably noticed I don't ride on the road a huge amount, amount at the moment. That's because the road bike's tucked away. It's a team bike. Don't want to ruin it over the winter. Also, I love being away from the traffic. I genuinely really enjoy riding the mountain bike. As you can see, these trails are perfectly suitable for training on. Nice and flat, good for consistent power output. Exactly the sort of thing that I'd be doing on the road. It's just that without the stress of being looking over my shoulder or having to look over my shoulder for traffic, things like that, I find it a whole lot more enjoyable. Also, you're getting slower, stay warmer. You can see that I'm dressed up in some completely non-road riding wear. And that makes me happy. I know that mountain bike is not for everyone. I notice that every time I upload a mountain bike video and a load of you on subscribe. Although I'm guessing if you're watching this, that probably hasn't happened. Anyway, the point of this waffle is because most of the things I've intended to do with the channel simply aren't possible, I'm going to give you a little bit of a diary update as to what I've been up to and my life at the moment. If you've never worn a waterproof onesie in the rain on a bike, you're missing out. Like I genuinely wear this thing out on the road. It's an Enduro single track onesie. 
it's actually waterproof, which makes riding in what was forecast to be fairly biblical rain almost a pleasure. Like you still get the rain in your face, it's still hard to see where you're going, but it's just nice to be out and not freezing cold, not soaking wet, just enjoying the ride. And yeah, that's not really a review, that's more of a this is what I've recently purchased and I'm quite enjoying it. What do I envisage happening this year? Well, I think there will be racing. I think the racing is going to be quite late on in the year in the UK. We have so many rules and hurdles that other countries don't seem to have. Also the fact that cycle racing is quite low down on the list of priorities. Like it's not a traditional sport in this country like it is in other parts of the world. It's not a big sport in this country. You need road closures and things like that. So I imagine Closed circuit racing is going to return faster. Off-road racing will probably come back faster because you don't need the same sort of su police support like you do on the open road. So hopefully by June there'll be some sort of racing to talk about. But yeah, it's definitely going to be different to what I would have imagined returning to 12 months ago. Anyway, hopefully that goes some way to explaining exactly why there are fewer videos going up on the channel and exactly what it is that I've been up to recently in my spare time in my day job, in my training time, things like that. Going forward, these videos will continue. They'll go back to being the sort of video you're used to seeing. The road bike will make a reappearance. The weather will get better, COVID will disappear, and life will continue as normal. It's hard riding in one hand, white bars. Right, a couple of little trails left before I get home. It's quite hard to work out where I am, if you don't know. Any bridge over a dual carriageway looks the same as the next one, doesn't it? I think it's safe to say that this is no longer as new as it once was. It's been well broken in, I would say. I don't mean the bike, I mean the clothes. Waterproof onesie, that's a life changer. I wish I had stuff like this years ago. You know when you get back from a cold, wet ride? Wet, <laughs> can't speak. Cold, wet ride. You go in the shower. Your hands and your feet are just screaming in agony. Your shins, anything, anything's exposed to the wind. Yeah, this would have stopped all of that. To the point I don't even need to wear big thick gloves today. The rest of me is so nice and warm. That was a load of waffle, loads of thoughts to myself. Gonna go and throw it into the computer, see what sticks, see what comes out, see if it's a video. If it's not, you'll never know. If it is, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's given you a bit of insight into the sort of thing that I've been up to recently. It's been a mega busy six weeks and I'm very happy for it. All the usual plans are coming up. Back to racing, random events that I wanted to do. And that's just gonna take a little bit of time for it all to fall into place. Different dates, different schedules. But we'll keep staying fit, we'll keep training. Hope you're all staying safe, fit and well and healthy. I'll see you again next week. Because the videos are gonna be weekly from now on. Bye everyone.